And now, Chairman Khrushchev, on behalf of the faculty in agriculture at Iowa State College, we'd like to give you a token of remembrance to you on your visit here. And this is a meat-type hog, which we hope you will carry back and put on your desk to remember Iowa State University. We're very happy you were here today. У нас обычно, когда кто-либо кому подкладывает свинью, очень недовольны этим самым. In our country, there's a proverb: when one does something unpleasant to another person, they say he gave him a pig. No, 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 я выражаю вам исключительную признательность like за такое подкладывание. So you will notice that this says in the mutual entrance interests of swiance. Swiance. Взаимных интересах, значит, не науки, а свинауки. Вот так вот. Видите, о свине очень много сочинено о ее нечистоплотности. Но это неправильно. Свинья, она, знаете, человек больше проявляет свинство, чем сама свинья. Много раз. Часто так бывает. Часто бывает, когда человек больше проявляет свинство, чем свинья. Some people, there are great many stories about the swine being an unclean animal. But in fact, there are many cases when a swine is a more noble animal than even a human being can be. I agree with that. I've often said. I've often said the more I see of some people, the better I like pigs. Я часто говорю, что чем больше я вижу некоторых людей, тем больше мне нравятся свиньи. Я с вами согласен. Спасибо. Я очень рад с вами познакомиться и бегло ознакомиться с вашим учебным заведением. Я немножко знаком по рассказам наших специалистов, которые у вас бывали, и мы очень высокого мнения о постановке у вас дела преподавания и общего дела. Желаю вам успеха, давайте обмениваться опытами, это будет полезно для вашей страны и для нас. Thank you. I'm very glad to have had this chance to meet you and to have paid this short visit to your experimental station. People, we know something, and I have known something about this experimental station from the stories of the people of our people who returned back home from Iowa. They praised it very greatly, saying it is an excellent institution. I think so too. And uh, let us therefore exchange uh, experience as much as we can. This would be to the good of us both. Прошу передать вашим студентам мои добрые пожелания, с тем, чтобы они лучше учились и готовились хорошо служить своему народу, своей родине. Please convey my best regards, uh, my best wishes uh, to your students, so that they would uh, study. Mrs. Khrushchev has been discovered. Mrs. Khrushchev has been discovered in the crowd. She has been making her way all along the fence, greeting all of the spectators who have been standing around. They are barricaded from the actual arena of operations here. But Madam Khrushchev has been extremely gracious and has been shaking hands with almost everyone in the crowd. In just a moment, I believe that Professor Leslie Johnson. Thank you very Chairman much. We're very happy you were here. The husbandry department will uh, present Madame Khrushcheva with uh, a bouquet of flowers. Now the chairman is holding aloft the pig. Замечательная свинья, американская, но она имеет все свойства и советской свиньи. И американская свинья и советская. Я убежден, что они могут хорошо вместе сосуществовать. Так почему же люди Советского Союза и Америки не могут сосуществовать в таком случае? This is a fine American pig. It has, however, all the characteristics of a Soviet pig do. These pigs, American pigs and Soviet pigs, can coexist. Why then cannot our nations coexist just as well? Okay, we'll over here this way. Thank you very much, Dean. Thank you very much.
It seems as if now uh, Chairman Khrushchev is about to uh, depart, get back in the official car. Oh. Yes, he's found uh, an aisle through which he can uh, proceed to his own limousine and uh, shortly we believe that the official party uh, will leave the Swine Nutrition Farm of Iowa State University and as the sun sets on the farm, the sun also sets on uh, the chairman's visit to Iowa because from here in Ames he will return quickly to Des Moines and board the air transport service jet plane that will fly him directly from here to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the next stop on his uh, official visit to the United States. Madame Kostrova has left the crowd and is returning to the automobile. Uh, yes, there we have her in the picture. And she has had herself quite a time while uh, the chairman was inspecting the swine. Madame Kostrova has met literally hundreds of Iowans. Professor Spear, do you know who that is? Jack, uh, that is uh, Mrs. Hilton, uh, Mrs., uh, the, the wife, wife of, of the president, president of Iowa State. State. Yes, of Iowa State University, Mrs. James Hilton. Well, these are the departures, and uh, our television cameras will remain on the official party until the caravan is out of sight. There is a slight delay. Jack, we There's might just comment on Mr. Khrushchev's statement there about the pig and coexistence. Uh, the particular breeding of the pig that was giving, given to him is called the English large white. And as we understand it from visitors in Russia, uh, this is the type of breeding that predominates in Russia. So this uh, type of uh, nutrition that you've been working on here is exactly uh, his cup of tea, is that right? That's right. It's exactly what he needs to uh, take back to Russia with him to uh, uh, introduce your, your uh, nutritional practices into the Soviet agriculture to, in order to uh, uh, compete with Iowa as he seems to be uh, determined to do in the production of uh, pork. Now we're in motion. The caravan is on its way out of the Swine Nutritional Farm. And uh, all of the Department of State cars following behind the official car containing Chairman and Madame uh, Khrushcheva. We have quite a crowd which has assembled out here since the arrival of the official party. They must have followed it out here because until uh, only a few moments before the first of the cars arrived, uh, no one was around except security guards and the uh, uh, staff of the nutritional farm. And now we hear the uh, comments of the swine residents uh, in their pens. I don't know, Professor Spear, is it near feeding time perhaps? <laughs> well, Jack, uh, these pigs are have a free choice feeding system. Uh, method of, the way we do uh, things in the free feeding, world. Feeding themselves any time that they choose to do so. Well, there's the difference. And uh, we can see the uh, the uh, red flashing lights of the police cars uh, as they are. Signs in Russian greeted Premier Khrushchev as his motor caravan drove through Iowa towns today on his way to several farms in the Coon Rapids area. He told Roswell Garst, his host for the tour, that he felt this was going to be a jovial day and he took a keen interest in whatever, whatever he saw, whether it was sorghum, hybrid corn, or healthy Iowa livestock. Corn chopping caught his eye and he had several questions to ask wherever he went about the crop and the machinery used for harvesting. 
It seemed to observers that the weariness he showed at a dinner last night had been replaced by an eagerness more characteristic of Khrushchev. The press, the press of cameramen irritated Garst more than once. Then through an interpreter, Khrushchev and Garst discussed the relative merits of American and Russian corn. But the conversation took a very stra strange twist, at least for an atheist such as Khrushchev. When uh, Mr. Garst first came to our country, we bought hybrid corn from him. В этом году господин Гарс был у нас и видел нашу гибридную кукурузу. Саша хуже вашей?